allow me um, to cover concepts in management accounting. Management accounting, check I'll abbreviate as MA. So, cost accounting for those who are doing their degrees or diplomas. And in ATD, it is called Fundamentals of Management Accounting. These are universal concepts. So management accounting in CPA it is in uh, intermediate level. In uh, ATD3, we have it again, and the concept is also there. And those in cost accounting for those doing their degrees and their diplomas, it is also there. So these uh, concept cuts are close. And I want to do a CPA question under uh, a concept called or subtopic called or a topic called labor remuneration. Labor remuneration. So this is about payment of employees of their wages and salaries. We have those employees who are paid on piece rates basis based on the number of on the output or the units produced. We also have employees who are paid on time rate basis that is based on the hours worked. When you're given the time rates, the amount the person or that employee is paid per hour. Then it's important also to note that under the labor remuneration, we have the basic pay or the basic salary. We have the bonus pay, which is based on the time saved. And we have the overtime pay, which is based on what? The hours worked in excess of the normal working hours. Basic pay is the guaranteed pay, irrespective of the output. Bonus pay is uh, the amount paid because of the time you save a company. Overtime pay, it is the time or the, it is the pay or the amount paid for hours worked in excess of the normal working hours. You can have those employees who work under the bond with the, as a group. And that's why you need to have the payment to the group uh, as per the questions I want us to do. So allow me to do a past paper question that is CPA, management accounting, uh, sitting, which sitting, this is May, May 2021, question number 2A. Let me do the question, May. May 2021, question number 2A. This question, this, those are, uh, this question is about a person by the name Rhoda BD, and it's about uh, how he just manufactured or produced some items. So let me read the question. We did it together. For those who don't have the past paper, you can download this past paper. They are online. The CASNEB CPA past papers. Then you go to where you have May 2021, question 2A. I read, Mzalendo Limited operates a differential piece rate remuneration scheme for its casual laborers. The following schedule is applied to determine employees' remuneration. So we have the number of units produced and the wage rate per unit we are given them. So let me just briefly, because of those who don't have the paper, we are given this. So number of units. And then we have the wage rate per unit. So we have 1 to 250. The wage rate is, uh, these are shillings, 500. 251 to 500. 
It's 550 shillings. You have 501 to 1,000. Here we have 600 shillings. Then you have over 1,000 units. You have the payment is 650. Then we are told Roda BD completed 1650 units. So this person called Roda BD completed 1650 units. So required determine wages payable to Roda BD for the month of January 2021. Because we are told the Roda BD completed 1650. 1650 units during the month of January 2021. So they required the wages payable to Roda BD for the month of January 2021. So let me have here wages payable to Roda BD. Wages payable to Roda BD. So Roda produces 1650. So the first 250 units. So the first 250 units. This person is being paid 500 shillings. So the payment is 500. This shillings 500. Uh -huh. We have the next 250. It goes 251 to 500. That's again 250 units. Uh -huh. Next 250 units, the person is being paid 550 per unit, so you get that. So already this is 500 units. Next one is here, 501 to 1000, that's 500 units. So the next 500 units, uh -huh. the payment for, five, for these uh, Bunch here is 600 shillings. So per unit is 600 shillings. So this is a total of, this is 250 plus 250 is 500 plus another 500, that's 1,000. So how many units are in excess of 1,000? So over 1,000 because the person produced 1,650 units. So 650 units are in excess of or they are above the 1,000. Because over 1,000, any units over 1,000, the range is 650. He produced, or the road of DC produced 1650. So, over 1000, which is uh, 650. So, you can say the next 650 units to give you 650 is uh, being paid 650. And there is nothing like guaranteed pay for this one, so this is all what the person is going to be paid. And you get the total of that, add that. So let me multiply this one, 250 by 500, 250 times 500, so this is 125,000. So I'll put shillings there, 125,000. Then 250 by 550, 250 times 550. I'm getting 137,500. 137,500. There's also 500 by 600. 500 times 600. 300,000. 300,000. The last one is 650 by 650. 650 times 650. And it's 422,500. 422,500. So let me add them. We see how much he received in this January. So 422,500, I add 300,000. I also add 137,500. I also add 125,000. I'm getting 95,000. So that is the amount paid to Roda BD for that month of January. This is the total wages payable. So wages payable is that. This is the wages payable to Roda BD. Total of 985,000. 
So that is what was expected in that question part A of that question. So thank you for watching this uh, video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to reach me, my number is there, 0714-023-691. If you want to come and see me physically for any tuition, for any training, either you're a university student, you're a diploma student, you're a CPS student, please, I'm available. I can help you out in uh, these units, management accounting, cost accounting, quantitative analysis or quantitative methods, uh, quantitative techniques. So you can just give me a call. Then we're going to just see the way forward. I teach people online. I have been training people from different universities through the Zoom. I use my Zoom, my, my Zoom platform for training. And then I give assignments. And uh, then from there, I know you will get assisted on getting the knowledge and understanding this concept for your exam. So thank you so much, guys, for your time, for watching the video. My name is Mr. Cleophas. I teach at the Regional Curriculum Management College and don't confuse the regional with another college. The college, Regional Curriculum Management College, the initials is RCM, but we also have other colleges using the same initials and they are not regional college. Please get the distinction between those causing confusion in the industry and come to the right place, Regional Curriculum Management College. Our location is just along Moy Avenue, Nairobi CBD. Uh, directly opposite Galitos. Don't go near archives, please. I mean Galitos is where we are. Come to Galitos where there is a super metro uh, stage. That building where you have the Highlands, Highlands restaurant. We are in 50th floor. The building is called Commonwealth House. It is opposite uh, Mount Kenya. It's opposite MKU Towers. MKU Towers is there. Come there. We just meet. And you enjoy the lessons. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.